needle. So you're going to take your end of your thread and you're going to pull about an arm's length of thread. Um, so if you just pull the spool here and you have an arm's length of thread, that's about how much you need. Um, and then you can just simply cut the end of this and then you're going to get your hand needle out. So the hand needle has a hole at the end of it um, on the side that's not the pointy side and then there's the pointy side here. So it's a little opposite of what your sewing machine is. So you're going to take the end of this thread and you're going to put it through the eye of the needle. And then once you have it, you're going to pull it all the way through. And you're going to hold your needle at the top and let your two pieces of thread hang. I know it's a little hard to see, but you want to make them even. So both pieces of my thread are even at the bottom as much as I can. So you can just kind of tug on each one until you get them even. And then you're going to, um, with your pointer fingers while holding the needle here, you're going to grab the ends of them together and then drop the needle. So in your pinchers, I call them pinchers, you're going to have um, the end of the thread here. You're going to have those in your between your pointer and your thumb finger, like that. And then you're going to, you have to make a knot at the end of it. So that's the whole point of what we're doing. We're, we're grabbing the end so that we can make the knot at the end, and then the needle is hanging at the other end. So you're going to take it, and you're going to hold it really tight, and you're going to, with your other hand, take the end of this the, the um, thread here, and you're going to spin it around your pointer finger. So we want it to go around this finger once, and then you're going to kind of wedge it in between your pointer and your thumb to hold it in place. And then you go around it twice, wedge it between your pointer and your thumb, and then wedge it or, uh, uh, spin it around the third time, wedge it between your pointer and your thumb. So yours should look like what mine looks like. It's wound around my pointer three times, and I'm holding it between my, my um, thumb and my pointer. Then you have to get it off your finger. So the way you do this is, I'll show you with this hand first. You just kind of rub your two fingers together until it slides off. So if you watch, if I just go back and forth and then I rub them together, you're going to see that it kind of spins off of my finger. And then when I let go, you don't pull it or anything, but you let go, you're going to have this um, like lasso looking thing. So now that you have a lasso, that's good. You want that. Now you're going to take that lasso and put it between your pincher and uh, your pinchers again, pointer and thumb, and you want to totally cover it up. So you don't want to pull on it or anything. You just want it to rest in between your pointer and your thumb. And it can't be sticking out on any side. So if you look at me right now, you can't see the lasso on any sides because I'm pinching it in my fingers. You got to pinch it really, really, really tight. Pinch and hold. And as you do that, pull this thread here and what happens is you'll feel it sliding under your fingers eventually you'll get this thing that is a big ugly knot okay this big ugly knot when you take your hand and you kind of your your fingers and you kind of slide down it should not move at all that's how you know you did it right so once you have the big ugly knot you're ready to start thread uh to start sewing on your button or sewing anything um with a hand stitch so that's that's the first step getting the knot